Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily channel. Today I will show you how to customize the registration form in Filament and add extra fields. Like for example, if you want to add a role while the user is registering. It's not specifically about the role, it could be something like address or CV or avatar or whatever. And this is based on a tutorial on Laravel Daily.com. It's a free tutorial and I'll link that in the description below, which looks exactly the same. And I will partially read that to you and partially show that in the demo. So this is a default user model and we add an extra field from eloquent level. So in this case, it's a string role. That's why I didn't complicate it more. It's not a foreign key or anything. It's string any field. It could be, as I said, address or whatever. You make it fillable. This is important because if you don't do that, filament would not save the changes. And then this is kind of a side note. Of course, you can assign some field even without filament. So in the user model, just assign a static user role. But if you do want it to be selectable in the registration, you need to override the registration page of filament. And you do that by creating a filament page with this artisan command, make filament page, which is saved in that app filament pages auth register. And instead of extending simple page, you extend register. In our case, we made an alias as base register. So this is a filament class from vendor and our register class will be public outside of vendor. A different naming could be class my register or something like that. Then you wouldn't need to have alias here. And then in the main panel provider, in the admin panel provider, among the setting, you need to add this registration with your class as a parameter. From here, your registration class would take care of all the registration form. It would extend the vendor based filament class with its default behavior, but now you are in control of overriding things in your way. And now let's move to our PHP storm. So in that register class, which is an app filament pages auth register, we can override the methods of the vendor class base register. To understand that better, let's see that register class and see what's inside and what we can override. So there is a function register, which actually save the registration data and it works with the form. So we don't need to override anything in the method. We need to override the form with our own extra field. And this is where we're getting to these two methods we're interested in. So get forms and form. This is the behavior of typical live wire component inside of filament. A lot of filament is based on live wire components and technically each live wire component, live wire custom page may contain multiple forms. So that's why it's get forms, not get form. But inside of get forms, it's array of one element, which calls this form from here. And the difference between those methods is kind of a small thing, but pretty important protected function get forms and public function form. So you may technically override both of them in your custom component of registration, but that public says that it is more advisable thing to do because intentionally this method is public. So we will override that form. In general, you can read about that in the documentation in using multiple forms section with an example of multiple forms and how to work with them. But getting back to our example in get forms, as you can see, we have a form with separate methods. So each field is actually a method, get name, form component, get email, password and password confirmation. And each of those methods actually returns some kind of input. So text input, or text input with password, for example. So what we need to do in our registration page is create another method, which would be similar, and it would return just instead of text input, our select from role, or it could be another text input in your case or file upload or whatever. You just create that protected method in your registration class and add that at the end of the default schema. So one way is to override the get forms protected method, Basically, you just copy paste all that code from here, get forms into your class and add one more extra method here. So that's one way to override the protected of get forms. But as I mentioned earlier, when we have one form on the page it's better to override the form. So function form autocomplete by my PHP storm. And instead of that parent form, we return this part. So like this then return here and we don't need get forms anymore. 
and we refresh and it still works with the drop down so choose yourself whether to override the form and of course it should be public form or to override the get forms both should work but basically the flow is to create a protected method inside your registration class and then add that to the schema i hope that is helpful if you have any other tips around this one maybe you did it another way in filament and in laravel and in livewire there are multiple ways usually to achieve the same thing so let's discuss in the comments and of course subscribe to the channel to get more tips like this one and ask questions in the comments for the upcoming video ideas. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.